was back. The game was ugly, guys, but Philly fans, I mean, they'll take it because it's a win, right, Fred? Oh, yeah, they'll take it. You know, the Indianapolis Colts have a great play. I don't know if you saw it. They could have run that last night, too. Uh, you know, the play on the punt, that was really good. It's ugly, and I don't know how you throw three interceptions and win a game, but Sam Bradford said it. A win's a win. You know, I'm used to watching Sam Bradford because I covered the Big 12 um, for ESPN a few years ago, and he is a Heisman winner, so, I mean, he knows how to look at this. He's got a good approach. Okay, so the division is pretty much wide open right now. Maybe the Cowboys can get back into the mix. I don't know. I'm just saying. I know they have a lot of injuries. Holland, oh, you, Holland, what do you think? You know, I had to throw the Cowboys in there. Honey, I let me tell you. I'm, I'm an Eagles Ugh. fan. As far as the Cowboys, I don't want to hear anything about the Cowboys. <gasps> I am not a Cowboys fan. I don't want to see them get back in any mix. <gasps> And any, I'm just not, I'm sorry, girl. I'm a, I'm a Philly fan all day. You're honest. And I mean, I'm honest. I'm honest. I am not a Cowboys fan, but in watching it last night, the only thing I can say is that did they see the Star Wars trailer maybe before the game? Is that why there was so much craziness going on? But yeah, no, no Cowboys over here, uh, Melissa. All uh -uh. right. See, I did not know that about you, Han. I don't know if we could still be friends off, uh, off set here. I'm just kidding. Aww. We're still friends. Okay. In at number four, Canadian federal election. This story has been trending for a few days now. Canadians have spoken. They took to the polls to elect the country's first new leader in nearly 10 years, you guys. And there he is. That's Justin Trudeau. We told you about this a little bit earlier on the index. He's Canada's new prime minister. The outgoing prime minister, Stephen Harper, has conceded defeat and will resign as leader of the party. However, he says he'll remain in parliament as a lawmaker. Number three, lots of hashtags trending today. How about hashtag why I write with almost 6,000 tweets today. Today is actually National Writing Day. The National Council of English Teachers started the trend <coughs> to honor the day. People are saying things like to tell the stories of those who might otherwise have gone unheard because I've got a paper due and because good writing has the potential to save a soul and affirm the humanity of a people. My goodness, that was deep. Back to my panel. Finish that hashtag, why I write, Lisa. Why I write is because I will shoot you with my words. Boom! <laughs> really? I'm really? a blogger, I'm a journalist, and everything I have to say, good, bad, or ugly, I do it with the pen. Well, now a computer. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, finish that hashtag, Fred. Why I write. Why I write because I want to prove to my high school English teacher, Dr. Allison, that now I got paid. Oh! That's why. <laughs> really? That's a good one. Really? That's what, a good one. What if, what if your professor or your teacher is watching right now? Really? <laughs> well, I, I got paid. But don't call me for donations. You're not getting any. <laughs> don't call me for donations. You are wrong, Can I hold friend. something, Fred? Can I hold something, Fred? Can I hold something? <laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah. this is. OK. Holland, finish that hashtag for me. Why I write. Uh, why I write? Because my mouth moves way too faster than my brain. <laughs> and sometimes I just have to sit down and just think it out a little slower. And I sound a lot more intelligent when I'm writing than I do sometimes when I'm talking. Okay. So there you go. Okay, so we have some people who are going deep. Some people trying to, I guess, seek revenge, trying to talk about how much money they have. Fred, you are in rare form today. All right, up mm. next, we are going to break down the top two. Keep it right here on The Daily Share. <laughs> and social index number two this should come as no surprise really it's hotline bling with half a million google searches our own roxy diaz talked about this a little bit earlier so let me give you the tea if you don't already know drake's five minute music video for hotline bling is pretty epic but well i'm gonna let the panel explain why to you pop culture commentator lisa durden radio host fred and entertainment commentator Holland Reed. Okay, so Drake dancing. Let's talk about this right now. Okay, Holland is into it. What do you think? What do you think of his dancing? <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. You're going to be me first. Are you seriously chewing gum me? right now? What do you Listen, no, I'm sorry. I got a cough drop because I'm trying not to choke on oh. air. I'm so sorry, my allergies. But back, but to, as far as Drake, everybody is talking about his dancing. He's not really known for like being a full out dancer. So he's got these moves that are really different, actually kind of very similar to like one of Kanye's videos. And it, it threw people off a little bit because it's just a different style. It's like a new thing. He's doing this phone thing. He's smooth with it. To me, he looks like every 
groom at a wedding after a few drinks. I mean, <laughs> it's like, it's it's so smooth and sexy. I think he killed it. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Well, you're not the only person who thinks that, but Drake's moves have instantly become memeable, right? Yes. Mashable yes. actually yes. named his moves Invisible Saxophone, Bot Mitzvah Dad. <laughs> Um, I respectfully disagree. Guys, let's name some of Drizzy's moves. All right, uh, Fred, you're up. Name, name these moves. What are they? Yeah, it looks like me on a Friday night after a, like a <laughs> bottle of vodka. It's interpretive <laughs> or something. I don't even know what he's doing. It, I don't know. It's some kind of wave. I don't understand. I like the song, though, so shout out to Drake. Okay, uh, Lisa, you're dancing over there, so you're feeling Drake's swag. You think he's got some moves? I'm gonna name his dances Drake's Cakes. Ooh! Because Drake's Cakes, honey, because he looks like he's got some good, tasty cakes. And Ooh, listen, Lisa Drake, Ooh. Drake call, you know, call a cougar. Call a cougar. Oh, she said call a cougar. <laughs> Somebody is loving the Champagne Poppy, though. That's his Instagram handle, just in case you guys are wondering. Champagne Poppy. Okay, <laughs> let's move on now to number one. It's the hashtag, The Force Awakens. No surprise, this is number one. We're talking about Star Wars, after all. Roxy Diaz also discussed this with her panel at the top of the hour. The trailer for The Force Awakens ran during halftime of Monday Night Football, and it is now approaching 13 million Woo! views on YouTube, and advanced tickets went on sale. Sending fans into a feeding frenzy, it crashed Fandango's website as people tried to reserve seats for the film's opening night in December. All right, Lisa, before we get to your excitement for the film, um, let's talk about the media strategy. We've been seeing teasers and Instagram pics and vids for it seems like, I don't know, the entire past year. Genius or not a good move? It's an absolute good move. Social media is so strong now, people will be stupid not to take advantage of it because the brand is there. And I gotta tell you, I live in Newark, New Jersey. We have a movie theater by my house. I'm renting out rooms, people. Come and stay before the film comes out. And wait a minute. I love the fact that he's down with the swirl. It must be good to be his wife. Melody Hobson, when you get a divorce, I'll take your place. She said down with the swirl. Lisa, I'm I down love with the swirl, You're definitely too. having to come back to the social media yes, panel. Okay, I love it. I, I want to get all. both you guys in, so we have to go really quickly. Holland. You got like 15 seconds to geek out because I know you are a really big fan of the, of the franchise. Geek out for me, go. I, I will just say this. I was more ex obsessed and excited about the reactions of the actors. Um, John, his last name is slipping my mind right now. They just told me the reactions were so awesome. Um, the newcomers that are coming into this film, that's what I was so excited to see, the blending of the, you know, the old school Star Wars and the new Star Wars stars. Mm -hmm. So that was really awesome. Uh, I cannot wait till December. Fred, 10 seconds. Are you going to see it? And why if you're not? I'm gonna dance. I'm gonna dance like Drake while I do it and tell you <laughs> that I've never seen one Star Wars movie in my whole life. No. Okay, that what is that move? My panel's been awesome, you guys. Oh, thank you so God. much, Lisa, Fred, Holland. Thank you guys so much thank for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>